Christy Flynn. Yeah. Yeah. Mr Speaker, when people woke up today in homes that they can't afford to heat with mortgages that they're struggling to pay to news that inflation is once again on the rise, they'll have looked to Westminster for answers. And instead, they find a UK government which is tearing itself apart over how quickly it can send vulnerable people on a plane to Rwanda. Surely the Prime Minister must understand that the anger that some of his own backbenchers have towards him is no comparison to the anger that the public have towards his party. Yeah. Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, if the Honourable Gentleman did care about supporting working families to pay their bills, to pay their mortgage, why on earth is the SNP making Scotland the highest tax part of the United Kingdom, where the average, Mr Speaker, not the wealthiest, where the average worker in Scotland is now paying more tax than they do in England? Of course, Mr Speaker, when it comes to the, R- the Rwanda bill, the reality is that if you want to stop the smuggler gangs, you should introduce safe and legal routes. But instead, the Prime Minister is seeking to weaponise some of the most vulnerable people in society. It is straight out of the cruel and callous right-wing extremist playgroup. His time in office is fast approaching its conclusion. Does he seriously want this to be his legacy? Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, as I said, it is important that we stop the boats because illegal migration is simply not fair, Mr Speaker. It's not right that some people jump the queue, that they take away our resources to help those who are the most compassionate, that need our most help, and, by the way, Mr Speaker, are exploited by gangs, and many of them lose their lives making these dangerous crossings. So I completely disagree with the Honourable Gentleman. The fair and the compassionate thing to do is to break these criminal gangs, and that's why we're going to stop the boats.